The James Bay Wilderness lies in northern Quebec, 600 miles north of the city of Montreal. Though the land has been occupied by Cree Indian hunters for countless generations, it has now been taken over by the Quebec government for the largest hydroelectric project ever conceived in North America. Seven major rivers, nine large tributaries, are to be dammed and diverted, creating 20 huge reservoirs. As many as 11 power stations are planned to produce nearly 12 million kilowatts of power capacity. 6,000 square miles of land will be flooded and the watersheds affected cover an area two-thirds of the size of France. Some $10 billion will be spent to feed the industrial and consumer appetite for energy now running out of control and irrationally doubling every eight years. None of this is needed by the Cree and Dinuit people of northern Quebec. They have lived in complete harmony with nature for almost as long as human beings have inhabited this continent. They depend on the animals that they hunt. The animals depend on the land. Now, they are expected just to move over and go away. One of these, who has hunted all his life along the Fort George River, the site of the first works, is Job Bearskin. We think we have been robbed. We consider it robbery. We say the white man is stealing from us because he did not ask us. This is our land. We own the land. Let's sit up here. This rock is beautiful to look at and to sit on. Let's have a smoke. I will tell you a story about this rock. This is the place where Windigo the cannibal stood and watched the people across the river. This is where the people attacked him, right here, on this rock. They used this rock to destroy him. See the small stones around the rock? They buried him under the big rocks and used the smaller rocks to cover him completely. 
We used this rock as a lookout. You can see in all directions. We watch for other Indians coming up and down the river. When the people came back from their trap line in the spring, we would all gather here and have ceremonies. We would have dances. Everyone was very happy. We can still catch everything right here. Over there, I have my winter lodge. We catch rabbits, ptarmigan. You can see the bear has been around here. Porcupine, partridges with their young ones. The Canada goose and ducks nest over here. There are plenty of fish too. They all reproduce every year. They have done well this year. The whole place is a garden. We are not only thinking about our garden. We are thinking about our children. How the child loves to hunt. How happy he feels when he kills his first animal. How proud his parents are. Those who have not yet learned to hunt how happy they will be when they learn. We are thinking about our future hunters. Right here, the white man hunts to go shoot and tends to build a huge gravel pit. This is our river. This is our big river. We are the great river people. The French call it La Grande. The English call it the Fort George. We call it Chisibi. Big River, our Big River. There are plenty of beaver living all along this river. We can see from this branch the size of his teeth. This shows he has been here. You can see signs of beaver all along the river. What will they do when the water is high? Usually the beaver are across the river. Everything will be underwater. We know that the beaver will draw. The places where the roam will be flooded. What is going to happen to the river? and the land. And the people. They will not only be disrupting the land. They will also disrupt the Indian mind. <laughs> the Indian is mistreated. He is worried because he does not know what is going on. He sees he will be disrupted in many ways. He is confused. All kinds of different races will be coming, not just white men. Some people still don't accept white people. They're not in harmony with them. Hatred will be created. I feel sorry about what's going to happen to the old people. I'm not happy about what they're going to do to the river. 
It will be an injustice to the old people because they do not care for white man's food. The old people prefer Indian food. And we also sometimes like to go back to it. I will tell you a story about this river and my father. Throughout his life, he paddled his canoe here and hunted all along the river. Where my nets are now, right there, that's where he put his. And he brought me here before I started to hunt. He would catch fish all along the river. Then, he couldn't hunt anymore because he was too old. He was 108 when he died. He stopped hunting when he couldn't get around anymore. When we were kids, he provided for us. When he became old, we did the same for him. There are many people who have hunted this territory. The people would hunt all year long. People would travel 200 miles up the river before they reach their destination. The river has so many uses for us. We drink it first. That is the first use. The Indian has always said that the taste of the river is very good. There is always a place for us to camp along the river. We can fish or hunt in winter or summer. Right here will be flooded when they dam the river. We won't be able to camp here or catch any more fish. A lot of fish and animals that live in land will be destroyed. I know the river for 200 miles. The river has always helped the Indian a lot. It has always been like that and still is today. And now they tell me what they are going to do to our beautiful river. Sometimes, when I see how beautiful it is in land, I wonder why I went to school. I am still at school and I hope I might find a way to help my people. What the white man is doing, he appears to do underhandedly. When I first heard of the James Bay project, I was shocked. And they have already destroyed many things. Fish have already been found dead in the rivers. They've made a mess of the land already. The way I see it, they should be taken to court. They have already messed up our garden and wounded our mother, the land. Yeah, I got it.
as to the Inaja to be honest. Even if they give an Indian a job, will it be in a higher position? They'll give the Indians only the lowly jobs. Where are the fish going to come from when they dam up the river? It will be impossible to catch any fish here. Right here, Amstagoshu will build a huge power station across the river. Ever since I learned how to hunt, I have come here to the rapids to fish. When we are not working, we always come here. It will be a great injustice if they dam the river. Everybody will be affected. A lot of people live off the river in the summer. We get our food here because most of us do not like eating the white man's food. We would rather eat what we kill ourselves. It's not, I don't think it's habitable by anything but Indians and beavers. And even the Indians don't live here anymore. Dans la région de G2, je ne crois pas que ça dérange beaucoup les Indiens. Euh, d'après le gibier qu'on peut y, voir, y trouver, euh, ça ne dérange pas beaucoup d'après moi. There seems to be, to me, to be no question but what the, uh, the life of the Indians changing regardless of this project. And uh, for the price of inconveniencing a relatively small number of people, there will be a considerable benefit to the country at large. The area they're going to flood is just about the most barren area in the world today. There's no animals, no, originally no trees. It's all just was scraped clean by glaciers years ago, and really nothing's grown since. <laughs> I don't like the idea myself that a lot of land will be destroyed. I am definitely against the project if there is to be a lot of destruction of the animals we have survived on. I am not only thinking about myself. I am thinking of all the other people. Those young kids that are just starting to hunt and those that have yet to be born. I think there are a lot of women too who are opposing this project. Not just men. Especially the parents raising kids who will be using the land in the future. The animals will be destroyed. The men are not the only ones who know about the damage that is going to be done. No cheaper, we stick or I see, 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 no cheaper, we stick or
我知道会失过，还是会呀？我知道会失过，还是会呀？我那都没打个脑，这个难道是知道我说的？那是真的。I heard the white man thinks this is just a wasteland. But how can he think that when there are so many people living here? He cannot think that if he knows about the Indian. If the white man doesn't believe the Indians, he should come and see for himself. He's made the same way we are. He would still survive if he lived with Indians. He has the same soul we have. Everybody was given the same. But he is not using his soul properly. He's only using it for his own gain. That's the way it is. I don't think anybody knew what the white man was going to do to the Indians. I didn't think that he would ever do what he plans to do. I guess the Indian thought that the white man would be really friendly, a good neighbor, like we're all good neighbors here, friendly even to people we have just met. The Indians thought the white man would be the same. They thought the white man would love them. If an Indian were doing the same in white man's land, he'd be sitting in jail. The white man wouldn't be happy if somebody destroyed his land. Sometimes the white man has a little garden where he grows flowers and stuff like that. And if you walk over it, he gets angry. He doesn't even allow his fellow white man to walk on his lawn. He may even call the police. Compare this with the destruction the white man will be causing up here. What would they think if we went down there and asked them what they survive on and then took it away from them, took their jobs away, left them nothing to survive on? Well, this is exactly what they are doing to us. They are taking away from us the land that has provided for us. This is the Indian's garden, where things multiply and grow. The Indians are part of the things that grow here. The first time I ever went out hunting, my father told me never to kill too many animals, never to leave bones lying around. Because if you do, when you come back, you'll have a hard time killing these animals. They will have just disappeared. It is the same today. When the water is low, we find the tracks of the bears in the sand along the shore. We must be careful to respect the bear and the other animals. The Indians were designed to harvest this land. We were given the animals to feed ourselves our children, and old people. You will see in all our camps that the Indians always care for the bones of the animals. When I get a lot of beaver skulls, I always hang them in a tree. The bear is one of the smartest of all the animals. We must understand his habits if we are to catch him. You can see here, the bear has turned over the rock. He has come looking for some ants to eat. He has rolled the stone over. You see? He is making a home for the ants. Then, he will come back again to find the ants. Here we go.
If there were berries here, you would eat them too. The bear is smart enough to trap the ants. You can see that the porcupine has eaten this tree. This is the kind of tree he likes. We look after these trees because the animals live from them. Not only the porcupine likes this tree. You can see the rabbit has been here too. The ptarmigan like this tree too, and even the squirrel. Even the beaver has eaten from here. This is what the squirrel likes to eat. Everybody who has gone up the river has always remarked how beautiful it is. You can see that for yourself. Right here, Amstagushu intends to flood the river. Right here, my father always camped all his life. The area they're going to flood is just about the most barren area in the world today. There's no animals, no, originally no trees. It's all just was scraped clean by glaciers years ago, and really nothing's grown since. We love our garden. We love the animals in it and everything that grows in it. Look at the earth. Things keep growing on it. Human beings and animals keep multiplying. We Indians worry about the things that grow. The animals were given to the Indians so that we could survive. I think the white man does not care about this.
The white man has no feeling of love for all life on the earth. That's the way we understand it. The way the Indian sees him, the white man is like a spoiled child, grabbing everything for himself, never sharing. A destructive child who never matured. I'm going to catch a rabbit. <laughs> I will fool him. You always sing when you set up your snare because you're feeling so happy. <laughs> you will eat these plants and then decide to come true to this side. And that's when I'll catch him. I'll come back tomorrow and see if I've fooled him. <laughs> There it is. I've got a small rabbit. This is not an adult rabbit. This is too small for an old man. I can't feed everybody with this little rabbit. <laughs> I'll go and check my other snares. I was always very happy when I went out and checked his traps. Sometimes I would bring back a martin or mink or other things, and that's when I was happy. I also would kill things myself. 
I've killed all kinds of animals. I have always loved doing everything. Checking the hooks, killing the animals. I love cleaning the beaver. I love working with the beaver when he kills them. I love working with all kinds of food, all the sorts of game that he gets. That's why when I think about what they are going to do, it makes me very unhappy. This land is really beautiful to look at. The Creator, when He made this earth, He made it beautiful so that man would be able to enjoy looking at it. He made this earth for man to live in it and to survive in it. It has been like that from the beginning and today it is the same. But now a lot of land is going to be destroyed. The white man hasn't been given the animals. The animals were given to the Indian and we weren't given anything to grow. That is how nature arranged it, for the Indians to hunt and to survive off the animals. That's why a lot of Indians don't like the idea that their land will be destroyed. The Indians are always happy when they are fishing in the river, because if they catch a big fish, they know it is going to taste very, very good. The Indians have always known that the fish in the river tastes good. We use the river for all it is worth. This is our river. This is our big river. We are the great river people. I used to come across white men in the bush and I used to ask them what they were doing. But they never told me anything. They always told me only, we are working. That was their answer. I guess this is what they meant, why they were working here. And right away, the Indians have rejected what they are doing. I will tell you what I feel about the destruction of this land. It was never like this before the white man came. It was a beautiful earth. This is what I want to talk about. The people really liked to look at this beautiful earth. 
But now it has been destroyed. A lot of earth has been destroyed. Food has been destroyed. A lot of trees have been torn down. I have seen it myself as I flew here. They are destroying the trees that the animals eat, the porcupine, the ptarmigan, the rabbit. They need these trees. Their destruction already reaches 60 miles in land. All this I'm worried and wondering about. They are robbing the land from us, the owners of the land. I'm wondering about that all the time. I know they are only beginning their work. There is much more land to be destroyed. Now this I see. Speaking as an Indian, I do not like it at all. It is not only me who does not like it, but other Indian people too. We are all of one opinion. We are always thinking about the future because of what we see is happening. Some of us know what it is going to be like in the future. We have signs that tell us. That's how we know. It is just like ripping something apart. It does not look good. It looks like people have been fighting. Everything is shattered. I've seen it before, in the mating season for the bear. They fight, and when they do that, they usually tear up a lot of land. That is how it looks here. That is how I always feel when I see the land destroyed. It will take a long time to grow again. Yes, it will take a long time. No, this, it will never grow back again. They are killing the roots here. As I see it, there will never be a tree here again. These are the roots. They are going to be dead forever. And I am telling the truth. This is the way it is going to be. It is only of himself that the white man thinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I have heard a lot of people saying the same thing. The white man does not think of us at all. He is not even thinking about the destruction of the land. It is only of money that he is thinking. I have heard a lot of people say that. I want to tell you what I have seen in land. Where the camps are, much of the land has already been destroyed. They have brought up the earth from underneath, and many trees have been chopped down. There is garbage all over the place. Much has been washed down the river and is disgracing the shore. The white man has destroyed along both sides of the river where we all used to think it was so beautiful. If you could see it now, you would not like to look at it. You would see how changed it is already. I want you to think about it. The thought of destruction is uppermost in my mind. <laughs> that is what we will think upon. I don't want this project to go ahead. I am one of those who does not depend on job for my living. I get a living for my children from hunting on this land. Last winter, I went up in land, far in land. Everywhere the white man has been, the land was destroyed. It's our garden that they are destroying. The animals grow back, so there is game for us to hunt. Where I hunt, a lot of land has been destroyed by the white man. Since the white man has gone in land, many fish have been washed ashore in those lakes which abounded with fish. I have seen a lot of dead fish. <coughs> the beaver, too, has disappeared from some places where the white man has frequented. I have seen this with my own eyes. I helped, too, because I worked with the white man all summer. I didn't know exactly what those people were doing. But now that I know, I refuse to work with them anymore. I just found out recently that they were destroying the land. Even if they come and ask me to work again, I will not go back.
Why should I help destroy what the Indian has survived on? I'm trying. I mean, I'm backing up. Yeah, I hear you. I see the gas. I too will tell about the place where I have grown. I was born in Kanyapsko. I was born and raised there. If they flood that land, a lot of game the Indian could have caught to feed themselves will be destroyed. The land will be deep underwater if they build the dam where I have heard they are going to build it. They never said anything to us about it. I think They've been working on the river many years, but they never said anything to us. There will be nowhere for the game to go to escape the flood. Where will the caribou go? The caribou won't know which way to go. You will see how high the dams will be, how wide they will be. Right here, Amstugushu intends to build a dam 450 feet above the river. No, no, that don't know me. No, 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 we were raised here, and they should listen to us when we say we do not want our land and our animals destroyed. I have helped bury ten people near one of the dam sites. What will happen to the people sleeping there? I heard they will build a dam on that place. And that's where one of my sons is buried. I did not think when I beautified his grave that his body would lie underwater. Where it was beautiful, that's where we placed the bodies. <laughs> toward the rising sun. When the sun comes up, it is beautiful to look at. And when the Indian was still alive, he liked to see all this. When he got up in the morning, he would come out of his teepee and watch the sun come up. The morning is so beautiful. So we still think of those who are dead as if they were still with us. Though dead, they are still part of nature. And that's why we face them to the east, where the sun comes up. It's such a beautiful thing to see in the morning, in the early, early dawn. Because we know this will be underwater, we do not want the flood to happen. Ooh. 
What I have said is all true.